Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, people of all ages, how are you guys doing? My name is Blocks, and today we're going to be showing you guys how to install Minecraft Forge 1.7.2. Now, 1.7.4 has not come out yet, so you're going to want to do this to 1.7.2. If 1.7.4 has come out while this video is being while this video is public, then click on 1.7.4 and the process is going to be the exact same. Now, let's do a little bit of familiarization. If you're not familiar with what Forge is, Forge is a mod loader that allows you to add a bunch of mods onto your Minecraft, so you don't only can have one mod. This way you can have up to seven or many mods that you'd like. So, without further ado, let's get right into the mod. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your internet provider, or go down in the link below, and there's going to be a download. Click on that download, but if you're not there, you're going to want to go to your Google, and then type in Minecraft Forge right there. And the very first one's gonna be files.minecraftforge.net. So once you've got that, you're gonna have these five uh, little downloads. There's actually, yeah, five. And let's make this a little bigger. Don't worry about the 1.7.2 downloaders. Those, just don't worry about those, trust me here. Up here at the top, you're going to have 1.6.4 latest, 1.6.4 recommended, 1.7.2 latest, latest recommended. Now, if you have 1.7.4 here, then that's the one you're going to want to be clicking on. But for the sake of this video, since 1.7.4 hasn't actually come out yet, we're going to be doing this one right here. Now, do not make, do not click the latest one only because we're doing 1.7.2. I know they look the exact same, but just trust me here. If you want to do it to 1.6.4, you click on that one. But... Then when you come over here, you have downloads. Don't worry about these other downloads because all we're worrying about this is this little asterisk sign right here between installer and installer-win. So once you've got that, you click on that bad boy and come down here to where it says download and you click keep. Now believe me, it's not a harmful fire not a harmful file we've done this before it works trust me so once you've got this drag that to your desktop and you can exit out of your internet provider now you should have this in a jar file like so if not please follow these steps if you have it in a jar file click the the annotation right here on the screen and it will take you to the next step but if you do not have it you're gonna want to go to open with go choose default program go more options scroll down to look for other apps then you're going to scroll down to under your program files to java and you're going to click on your jre go to bin and then click on java.exe and click open but we already have it so we're just we're not going to do this so you're going to click open and then cancel or save so once you've got this you can double click on this and then go open with and click on this there we go. So it's going to say Mod System Installer, Minecraft Forge. Now you can either do this for an install client, install server, or extract, but for the sake of this video, we're going to be using it for a client. Now before you do any, hold on, let's exit out of this really fast. Okay, perfect. Now before you do any Minecraft messing around, you're always going to want to do a, a duplicate. So you're going to click on this Select Alternate Minecraft Directory and you're going to copy your minecraft.minecraft .minecraft and paste it so that you can just drag this onto your desktop and if you screw up you can always delete it and then you have a backup but we're not going to do that because we already have a backup saved in our files so we're going to click on install client and click ok now it's going to wait about two seconds because it has to download it onto your sir or into your minecraft and then it's going to say successfully installed client profile forge and you click ok once you've got done, done, you can open up your Minecraft and wait for it to load. Okay, so once you first open up your Minecraft, it's going to ask you to click play or type in your username if you do not have it already because it's new and it's want to make sure that everything's going to work. But you click play and then it's going to give you a little generation and here it says Minecraft 1.7.2-Forge 10. And that is perfect. Now on the left, you have your profiles and then it also added another profile for you named Forge. Now here's where you're going to add all your mods if you'd like. So say you have like more than one mod you can just click right here on forge and it will put all those mods and you are ready to go now once you've got that done you can click your play button and it's going to take a little second to generate your minecraft because it has to do go through all the forge stuff but once that's open we're going to be getting on to the next step 
Okay, so your Minecraft is now open, and at the very top, it may say warning, forge beta, major issues may arise. Now, this is just saying because right now 1.7.2 is in a test state, so it's not 100% effective. It may be a little error, so I'm not going to be able to help you in those steps. But this is just going to teach you guys how to put on mods right now. So you're going to have this ability to click on mods, and you're going to have all these options for mods. Now, you have all these mods that, these are just three that they basically give you, but you don't have to worry about any of these, you can just click done. And now you have M Minecraft Forge successfully downloaded onto your Minecraft. Now say you want to download a mod. So the first thing you want to do is open up your Minecraft again, wait for it to get done loading, and you're going to want to go to edit profile under Forge, edit profile, and then you're going to click open game directory. Once that's open, you're going to have this ability right here for mods. Here, you place all your mods, and then they're going to be uploaded to Mod Forge. So Minecraft Forge, and then you can play with all your mods. Just make sure under mods, drag them in, and there you go. Boom, bada bing. That's the way you do it. Uh-huh. Now, say you do not want Forge anymore. Say, I don't know, you don't like it. You can go up here to Profile Editor, and right-click it, and go Delete Profile. And you just click Delete Profile. But we like Forge, so we're going to keep it. I hope that this has helped you in any way possible. Please, if it did, click the like button. Do me a favor to even click that subscribe button if you're brand new and haven't seen all my other amazing Minecraft adventure, tutorials, anything else. So, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down in the description. I am free to help. Please be a little careless. Let's be a little kind to me. If it does not work, I will help you in any way possible. So, thank you guys, and don't forget, wash your hands. Bye now.